uh, ran, ran this morning, short one, uh, but decided to bike a little bit. So just gonna head down the green corridor. I'm here again at Depot Road and uh, to access the green corridor, it's not very far. I'll probably go through the, there's a moss entrance near the railway and it's actually down at Queensway Shopping Centre, uh, kind of like just behind it and just after the police station and the fire station that's over there. So yeah, today I'll be riding, um, I had this just serviced a few weeks back and I've uh, been riding the other bike, the Specialized AWOL, but today I'll be riding the Surly Moonlander, always the most comfortable bike, though it's the heaviest, um, but it's very plush and uh, I really love the way this whole thing was specced out and built with the choicest parts like the Alfine uh, internal gear hub there. Um, I've got white industry hubs over there. Is it white industry? Oh no, it's one industry I think. Yeah, and then uh, Chris King headsets and all that. Phil uh, seat collar you call it I think? And Thompson um, sort of like rear adjusted kind of seat post. And the Brooks uh, saddle which is like totally uh, seasoned so so yeah yeah and I've got all the Revelate bags and all that so it's like really all built out for touring but and I've done a bit of touring with the guys in the early days but now this is very hard to go out together so so just going to go for a casual ride down Green Corridor and we'll see how crowded it is if it's very crowded down I'll avoid that area okay see you guys uh, for the light to change just a quick look at the cockpit here. Uh, I've always oh, we've got it from uh, Queensway Shopping Centre past the police station, come fire station, and opposite this Esso station behind me. This is this old road that leads to the railway corridor that goes through the Moss area. So um, this is awesome terrain for the gravel riders. Um, it's rough and it's basically uncared for, um, historic. So there used to be HDBs, shop houses and all that around here. Everything's all wiped out and uh, I think uh, we saw some plans in the URA master plan where I think all this is gonna over time be opened up for uh, development like residential. I don't know if it's condo or HDB, I can't remember. But yeah, and over there is the old Alexandra Hospital. So this is the back side of it. And you can see all these roads here, very nice. There's a canal in front. And then above that, you can see people kind of like jogging and cycling. That's the track where it's a green corridor. So this is a little path here. So you just gotta look for this path. At night, that's the only light that's over there. This whole place will be pitch black. So make sure you have good lights with you. Oh, it's really, really crowded. This is not even the northern, uh, the railway mall part where it's gonna get even worse. So this is the Masit Jang Hang Jebat Mosque. This mosque has been historically next to the railway. So it's very interesting. And if you happen to take this path down, right, you'll actually see um, black and white houses that people live in or rent. And then further down, is actually Portsdown Road where Mediapolis is so, um, very interesting area. So time now just to give you a sense. Uh, it's about 5.30 right now. So yeah, people should be heading back for dinner soon. I already had an early, early dinner so that's why I can kind of like come out later.
also on the left is the Spooner Road exit. It's a temporary exit uh, because in front it's barricaded. Uh, it's actually the Tanjung Paga railway station which they are converting into an MRT station. And that will probably finish, I think I remember 2024 or 25, so it's quite a long way. Um, but yeah, so in the meantime, the exit is through the bus terminal just behind over there. But yeah, the last time we came here, Jason, I and Alex, uh, we did a run slash walk uh, from Kranji area. There's a Kranji entrance near the Rainbow Bridge where the construction workers' dormitories are. And um, when we ran all the way down with some detours, we clocked in about 32 kilometers. And uh, yeah, all the way here. So that was quite memorable. It was very hot. But on a bike, it's like a piece of cake, right? So... Anyway, you see the remnants of the railway buildings. Quite pretty, actually. Time now is about 5.55. 5 minutes to 6. Plenty of construction happening along the way. Iconic uh, building, Singapore. Now we're going to go through the Spooner exit just to take a look. I'm thinking of going to the railway mall now. Though it could be crowded, but at least maybe do a check. And if it's really bad, then we turn around. So I have my phone out because uh, while my Garmin watch is tracking distance, speed and everything, uh, my phone is actually collating all the data from my blood sugar and so uh, you can see I'm actually going quite low so I'm gonna drink uh, what my wife gave me this coconut water so I'm just hanging out around here this is the Spooner Road exit um, I can see a lot of people get lost here so I just help them out some want to go to MBS some are trying to figure out what's happening in the barricade behind me which is actually the old railway station being converted to the MRT station uh, but I believe that's only gonna count in 2025 so looking at the time now and all that, I'm not so sure if I can make it all the way to Railway Mall if you just look at the traffic. Um, but maybe I'll just give it a shot and see how bad. If it's really, really, really bad, then I'll just turn around and head home. But yeah, today I don't feel like hitting on the road, so let's just try this. When you take this kind of path during the weekends, you kind of have to give way to a lot of pedestrians and other cyclists, all the families and all that. So. That's just the way it is. Gotta share and care. It's pretty cool. Followed some people and uh, found an exit from Green Corridor. Uh, kind of just opposite St. Teresa Church, I believe. Um, there's a bridge and expressway uh, viaduct up there. And these are the... These are apartments that or HDB blocks that were used to house the railway workers. Now it's converted to uh, low income rental flats um, yeah so if you ever come through I mean I can't remember this road but uh, it's kind of near Everton Park I believe and if you head towards Bukit Mera this side road um, can get you kind of in and out of the city in a way because the other if you if you really don't want to use the Spooner entrance anyway this is an alternative pretty interesting so here it is again, just to show you how it connects. Um, this incline is a bit, it's not too steep, but uh, even with my mountain bike, it's a bit hard to climb.
of the green corridor are quite narrow. We're near, I think this is, is it Fusionopolis and all that? Buena Vista MRT and uh, it's pretty tight here with lots of traffic. Is um, a new path that uh, I saw some MPs like uh, sort of like publicizing. It's a path where it kind of connects Gimo, uh, Buena Vista area, to uh, the side of uh, the Green Corridor. And it used to be that there's this huge long gang or drain that people have to jump over and all that. There used to be kids that play in the drain, you know, catch uh, fish and all that stuff. Um, but they've since paved over it, so you can right from the green corridor out here and while you can go up the stairs there which leads to all this Gimor building you see this 18b block uh, you are greeted by this if you take the path into the private estate you are greeted by this incredible mansions that are over here especially this one is so beautiful so I mean we're in a Holland village area so have to expect you know that you've got very nice houses here Anyway, just a short detour, but yeah, it's nice to discover all these like little exits into little communes um, around the green corridor. Makes it very interesting. So yeah, that's the path that I was talking about. That new bridge over the Longkang, you can see where the man is standing. It's hard to hold the camera while I'm riding, so I'm just going to keep the camera now. So the, um, so the MPs and the estates are building all these uh, connectors. So they take the community paths that are created and turn them into actual like official paths to connect to the housing estates, increasing accessibility to the Green Corridor. Oh, looks like this uh, condo built uh, connected right to the Green Corridor. Pretty cool. So we're very near Jalita at this point and there's a stairs that brings you up to the main road but unfortunately these stairs you have to push by the side of the ramp it's quite uh, if you have a heavy bike it's quite troublesome but I guess it's better than nothing a low uh, regular ramp would be easier as you can see lots of folks just contemplating some carrying the bikes scenes like these under the bridges it's just meditative it's very peaceful and it almost absorbs all the sound then your horizon opens to this beautiful forest so one thing about green corridor is that it's epic like that you know there's just so many moments like this and i've only seen this sort of thing in those uh, dutch or uk kind of like bike expressways where they reuse the railway to do this sort of thing as well. It's quite uh, an un-Singaporean feeling actually. This area here is uh, Old Holland Road and um, it's just lots of nice houses on the side. There are actually many other bike paths around here as well. And what's interesting is that, um, if not mistaken, some of the paths here, like the one you see on the right, reason why it's flat open like this is because I believe there are pipelines that run through Singapore and this is part of it. Can't remember exactly where it is but it kind of looks like that. In front is the bridge where it connects Old Holland Road uh, if not mistaken and on the left hand side should be Pandan Valley, the uh, military medical school so you kind of can guess whereabouts we are. This area is very interesting actually. Um, there's an open canal on the right, right? And it's huge and beautiful actually because there are lots of private housing there. Then on the left is a covered canal. And the greens there are planted over. And so if you carry on there, what's interesting is that there's a forest that you can there's a trail through it and you will emerge behind the the military uh, medical school which is kind of near 
uh, pine grove you know where you emerge at the pine grove site rather than Pana Valley the only issue about the area down here is that because it's a covered uh, canal later on when you go in there you will actually see or rather feel that the ground is extremely soggy and your sandals will get stuck actually so when you get into the deeper regions there just before you hike up to the forest um, just be careful and uh, you just have to work your way around the different uh, sort of like almost like quicksandy kind of areas wet areas you can go by the edges the fringes of the hill there to try and uh, work your way up you'll see the trail uh, at the end of this uh, area and then once you emerge the other side interestingly the canal continues but it's covered as well and over here you can see that they haven't finished yet but you can see park connectors on that side um, and you can see barricades right but once they connect once they take down barricades and connect you can actually connect the a road from those two areas up to this green corridor as well so that would then increase the thoroughfare a lot more traffic around the area a lot more choice of exploration so yeah very nice uh, relaxing area to give you a sit wrap on the Bukit Tima railway station or at least the extinct one you can see they are reconstructing a lot of it they're gonna build a cafe over this side and this one is supposed to convert to a like a railway heritage center or something uh, still plenty of traffic but there's plenty of space around so seems okay but there's a choke point in front where there's a truss bridge iron truss bridge and uh, Sometimes they have to put like uh, some offices in the area there to regulate the traffic flow, make sure that people don't s stand and block the entire passageway when they take photos. So let's see how that goes. But yeah, I, I think it's not so bad now because everyone's probably gone for dinner. So it doesn't feel too crowded. I mean, this is still manageable. You can see the bridge. to take photos of it okay so some of the folks here would remember that the granite used to be loose and uh, the wooden planks would used to stick out a lot more so actually riding here is quite bad oh the lighting just turned on see how classy the whole place is so now the granite is actually uh, fixed in place with cement so the whole thing has a feel of the original place but a bit safer now road on the right is Rifle Range Road and it's a very interesting road because it um, it also cuts through this cross island pipeline uh, that channels water from Malaysia to Singapore and uh, it, that in itself is an interesting trail because if you go down all the way to the end there's a kind of like a military place there but if you carry on there's a trail that brings you to MacRitchie Reservoir so that's a very interesting, pretty long trail as well. Good for running and hiking, not recommended for cycling because of the kind of inclinations and all that you have to traverse. Pretty muddy sometimes too. But today we're just going to follow this green corridor which is totally pedestrianized. And uh, if we carry on this way, in the distance there is actually Bukatima Hill with the antennas on the top of the hill. And uh, officially this terminates at the railway mall. But actually, if you go around the break in the trail, the old trail still exists all the way north. So you just go past uh, and reconnect by Hillview MRT area. And you can carry on all the way through, I think, Chua Chu Kang or Lim Chu Kang. I, can't, I think it's Chua Chu Kang, Pasir Panjang. And uh, you carry on all the way through Woodlands and Kranji. So that is almost double the distance of what we're doing here. The midway point is the railway mall. We're under one of major viaducts and if you listen carefully you can hear bats uh, 
in their nests over there uh, where the support structures are and uh, we're kind of almost directly opposite a beauty world center one of the earliest malls in Singapore with a wonderful hawker center on top which I believe still exists but all these things should be dying out I guess with every generation people forget you know and all that and the mall's pretty old also I usually cycle in the morning and by the time I start heading home it's uh, almost uh, 11 or 12 so it gets very hot and gets very very uh, tiring to head home so this is quite pleasant because quite cooling There's a signboard there that says to Woodlands 12.8 kilometers. So that's right. Um, the whole distance here is, um, I think it's about 25 clicks uh, the whole way. Otherwise, we're, we're kind of almost near the halfway point. And what's interesting at this particular area is that we're kind of opposite Beauty Boys. You can see that's uh, the old apartments. And uh, you can see over there, there's a kind of entrance being built. And you can see this sort of ramp going up. And what's interesting is that this ramp also connects to a pedestrian bridge over there which uh, goes over the road. Now this this ramp is actually a treetop walk which I, some of us believe actually connects into Bukit Timah Hill or something. So uh, pretty interesting to see what this will turn out to be. If you notice the popping sound against my tire, it's because we hit gravel. And uh, after that bridge that I mentioned, what's interesting is that um, the path isn't paved as much already. So this is a bit more El Natural. Um, so what's interesting is that during the rainy, rainy periods, this whole area starts to get really muddy. So when this place first opened, it was just after the showers and I still remember a lot of people cycling and running and everyone got had no choice but to get muddy so but today seems okay the it rained in the morning but i think it dried out so it seems all right so time now is about 7 12. i think we started about 5 30 and uh it's definitely much better now i'm sure lots of people have gone for dinner so it's more pleasant it's cooling you, you need your lights at some point but this is where it's most relaxing. So just have an early dinner and this whole stretch is almost yours. So I'm here at Subway at the Railway Mall and uh, just got a quick uh, takeaway dinner. Um, yeah, time now is we spent two hours and clocked about 21 kilometers. Definitely not fast, but because of the human traffic that's around the area. But yeah, it's a very pleasant ride actually. So anyway, now I'm heading on the way back now. We're making our way back. You can see it's almost pitch black uh, in the trail. And um, yeah, even as pedestrians, I totally advise you to bring some form of light, uh, some red light or torchlight or whatever, even a headlamp if you have to. Because you never know, some cyclists can be inconsiderate and ride really fast. So yeah, just be safe. check now it's 7 47 and we are opposite beauty world still on the way towards Bukit Merah so that I can head home at Depot Road this is actually a very exquisite feeling uh, the darkness the nature natural sound and all that whoops frog the only thing is that uh, it's not actually good to 
uh, come out at night and have your lights blazing all over the place because um, learning from the ecologists and all that the animals also need to have their rest and this startles them also so try not to do this too often um, but if you do have to of course you need lights for safety otherwise you can't find your way around and people can't see you and one more pro tip please point your lights downwards everybody keeps pointing their lights straight on as if nobody can notice them it's quite ridiculous it's very rude um, to try and blind people like that aim it downwards like if not 45 degrees at least 50 degrees or whatever at least make everyone's life a bit more pleasant you just need to show that you're around the area you don't have to like blare in people's face okay now we're parallel to um, Rifle Range Road and ahead of us will be the Iron Trust Bridge we're now opposite Bukit Timah Plaza over there and uh, it's about 10 clicks 10-11 clicks to Tanjung Paga from here so we're going there's still some people here just gotta be careful Iron Trust Bridge over Bukit Timah Road it's quite beautiful actually Yeah, a lot of people like to pose around here, take pictures for Instagrams. after much darkness um, we've reached the mosque and you can tell by the lights and all that and to the left is the path out and I told you before there are some spotlights there to try and guide the way but that's about it after that it's just pitch black again so you definitely need your lights here's the mosque this is the path don't worry relax And then it's uh, this old road again, same way I came. Probably can't see it. There's a pretty old camera, so I don't think you can see the low lights. But yeah, just follow the road towards the traffic junction where the uh, street lamps are and you're all set. Pretty hungry now bought my subway hopefully it's not too mushy because it's got onion teriyaki sauce and I'm low by the way uh, blood sugar wise so I drank a bit of sugar drink just now iced lemon tea but interestingly it's not enough because anytime you work out for more than uh, what you call that? 30 minutes? It does have an effect on your body. Okay, you have to go on the pavement here because then you have a ramp out. Otherwise, if you follow the road, you just get stuck by the barrier. This way, you don't have to carry your bike. Yeah, right in front of us is Mailing Road. Actually, there's a lot of good food and hidden stuff in there. Uh, have to spend some time to explore. Lah. Now we're going to head towards uh, Queensway Shopping Centre After that, cross over and very close to Alexandria Road and then Depot Road where I live Alright, and we are home Alright, this is Depot Road And uh, from the Green Corridor, I just took the PCN all the way through here And let's do a quick check 
time now it's 8.28 Clocked about 32 kilometers In about 3 hours they're about Average Cool beans, thanks for joining me See you next time